You know, what's interesting about the waterfront is that this whole city was built around that waterfront. If you look at a map from a high level, all the roads lead to that one spot. But that spot has been off limits for the past 20 years because it was a polluted post-industrial pulp mill site. Now, Port of Bellingham had a vision to clean up and restore the downtown waterfront district and provide a low carbon solution. So we're building clean heating and cooling to serve the entire Bellingham Waterfront District and doing that by recovering waste heat from a local source. This project has a really long history, so the Waterfront District overall is a project that the Port's been working on with our partners at the City of Bellingham and the Department of Ecology for years and the community as a whole. So when the Georgia Pacific Mill signaled that they were going to shut down, the community started a large visioning process for uh, what are the opportunities for redevelopment down there. And then that was a decades-long process to go through planning, redevelopment, working with developers, and then also this uh, district energy system. The location of this system being right next door to the PSE Enquagen plant, where there's commonly waste heat being generated from that plant that the system could harvest and use uh, for a low carbon source really became uh, really kind of a no-brainer to go for that and use that type of uh, system. The Enquagen generating station can generate 165 megawatts of power, which serves power to over 120,000 households. Corex and the Waterfront District both benefit by taking waste heat and turning it into useful energy for the buildings in the Waterfront District. PSE also benefits by having increased efficiencies when Corex returns the water to our cooling tower at a cooler temperature. So what really made this project click was the port's vision of how to unite and develop this differently than other developments have typically gone. So they put the piping infrastructure in place that already you linked up all those sites and all those properties, much like you would do with water, sewer, telecommunications and things. They did it with thermal. And bringing in PSE, which has a power plant right next door, and we could recover waste heat from that, provides us an infrastructure to provide heating to an entire development with what's usually considered waste heat from someone else. Corex, uh, the thermal energy developer, was brought in to develop the whole infrastructure for that. And us, our role, UMC's role, was to design and install the systems to provide that heating and cooling for all the properties. We built the modular plant that's on site now in our manufacturing facility. We were able to do that in the containers that you'll see on the site that are reconditioned and repurposed shipping containers. In our shop, we install the piping and systems and the heat pumps and the controls to make it functional. What it also allowed us to do is build that whole system off-site and let the site utilities and site work happen at the same time. Those two meet when our systems are done and the site is ready. We deliver in mass our finished container, which has all systems pre-tested and functional. This system is far more efficient than any individual system could ever be. And when you have a system that is centralized at a scale like the waterfront district system is, if that system is operating at a high level efficiency, that means all the buildings are operating at a high level of efficiency. We've got the ability not just to decarbonize this new construction that's happening, but how do we get fossil fuels out of the infrastructure for our old buildings as well? That's super exciting. I think this is, a, is really a groundbreaking type of project and we'll start to see more and more of these systems across the state, across the region. I mean, this is uh, not something that's been done around the state. Other developers can learn from this product in the way that they can think beyond their property lines. If I'm a developer with a property that I want to develop, I might see a benefit to my overall community impact if I look at how I can use my space in conjunction with the neighbors next door. Sharing thermal energy between two buildings has a real economic and, and environmental benefit that I think we're going to see a lot more of going forward. There's a couple of, of unique uh, features to UMC that in addition to just being great people that I think is worth mentioning. We structured the agreement with them through an integrated project delivery mechanism where we aligned our interests from a financial um, basis from the start. And I'm really pleased to say that, that every time that there was an issue that came up in the project, UMC were super proactive in helping to resolve the problem in the most cost-effective way. And I think they would have done that anyway without the IPD, but I think the IPD really helped with that. And uh, now we're almost done and it looks like we're going to be about $200,000 under budget. UMC is so proud of this project because it's the next chapter of skills we've always had. We've had plumbing and piping expertise 
for more than a century. This is the new chapter. This is the clean economy we're building. We have the expertise. We can do it. We're proud to be building something that matters so much. It definitely makes me proud, excited, you know, somewhat humbled, I think, that we've got this incredible opportunity to, to help out a community and reduce the carbon for all of Washington State and provide an example that can be you know, copied and mimicked in other communities throughout the state.